there, there, true believers. Rain Kisaragi here with more. Let's play Pokemon Heart Gold. Last time, we made it to the Elite Four building. But first, we have this Dragonair. Hello, Dragonair. Oh, you have something? What you got, girl? Oh, thank you. For that. Great. Now let me give you something, Dragonair. Because Dragonair... Level 54. Now, that's insane. It is, you're right. Uh, that's ludicrous, and there's no point for this to be that strong. But there, but there is. Because you see, one rare candy. And our Dragonair. is evolving. Welcome Dragonite to the team. Cool. Wing attack. Neat. You're not gonna have that for very long. Like, at all, actually. You're gonna lose it right now. Because we need someone who has Fly. Fly's not a great move, but we do need someone who knows Fly. And Dragonite, you can learn Fly. So, unfortunately, you need to ditch that brand new wing attack you have here in exchange for Fly. Perfect. Now, as a note, I don't think I'm going to be using Dragonite too much in the Elite Four, but I wanted to have a Dragonite, so I have a Dragonite now. Let's go to the, uh, let's go, let's go to the plateau. Come on, Dragonite. Yeah. Hell yeah, Dragonite. Now I hear you all saying, why do you want a Dragonite? Well, I want a Dragonite because... Look at this monster. Can't flinch. Over 100, over 150, over 150 defense. It's really strong. Really strong Pokemon, Dragonite. That's why I want one. Because they're really good. And it's, like, my favorite flying Pokemon in Gen 2, so... We're gonna have to have one. Now, I need to buy items for the Elite Four. Um, let's assume that I'm gonna need, like... Oh, I can only buy 15. Only oh, okay. So buy 15. I wanted to buy 20, I thought I had enough, but I guess I don't. I'm poor now. I think I can sell a nugget. I think I still have one, don't I? Yeah, I do. Okay. Cool. Now, I think that's all that I... I can sell these moonstones if they're... Eh, it's not bad. I can sell those. I don't need them. Because I'm only going to evolve uh, Nido King with those, and I already have one of those. I don't need this potion. It's not going to sell for anything, but I don't need it. So I'm throwing it away. <laughs> uh, two max revives, 16 full restores. What new regular revive? Eight regular revives. Some max potions, a super potion. Um, I don't need this heal powder. That's not worth selling. Eh, screw it. Let's sell it. Why not? Everything else I kind of want to hold on to. So, hmm. yeah, let's. How many, how many more full restores can I buy? Perfect. 20. Perfect. Alright. Not now, mother. Let's heal. I don't think I need to, but we should heal anyway. Uh, once I enter this door, I, must, uh, I, will be, I will be facing one of the Elite Four. Really tough, and I can't leave once I go in. I think I'm ready. 
Hmm. Well, this area looks psychic. What do you think, Dragonite? That's what I thought exactly. Espeon, you're gonna be the one to tackle this because you have a dark attack. Hello, Will. Will you be someone who, who uh, hard for me to fight? <laughs> sorry, I'm so I'm done, I'm done, I'm sorry. Psychics, look at that. It's not an option, huh? I have really unfortunate news for you then, Will. You and your domino mask. Who do you think you are, tuxedo mask? Probably do, actually, the way that you look. Oh no, it's Zatu! I think with Bite we should be okay. Or not. That's fairly annoying of you. I wish you wouldn't do that. Uh, alright, let's swap to Amphros. I forgot that uh, Will opens up with a flying Pokemon. Of just Amphorost. Mm. Eh, it's fairly painful. Okay. Don't know why you decided to do that. Oh. Oh, that's why. Well, unfortunate news for you. It doesn't matter. Eat it, bird. Jinx, we are gonna switch for Jinx. We can use Typhlosion for Jinx, because Jinx is Psychic and Ice. And Typhlosion can use, it, use his new Flamethrower attack to absolutely obliterate Jinx and her purple existence. The Elite Four do get stronger. Uh, Will is the weakest. He is first. So that is why we are overleveling him. Don't worry, the further we get in, the more challenged this will be. Don't worry. And the more tempting, the more tempted I'll be to use to unleash Dragonite. Uh, we should change. Uh, I really don't want to send Amphoros out because the first turn is going to be just me trying to heal. Which is unfortunate, but it is a thing I need to do. And because you have, like, half health, we actually do need to, uh, full restore you as well. To fix the, um, paralysis. And get a nice full heal out of it. Full restore are awesome items, and they're very, very handy. Hmm. That's... That's less than good for me. Special Defense Rose. Well, we have Thunder Punch, though, so... We have a physical electric attack. Suck it, slow bro. This isn't gonna hurt you at all anyway, because you're still a tank. And now your stats are all gone up. Hmm. Hmm. Maybe better off just using Discharge anyway. Let's see the difference here. Yep, should definitely be using Discharge instead. That's fine. Raise your defense after you fart at me. You guys can't hear that sound effect, but it sounds like a fart as it wiggles back and forth. Aha! Using your full restore on your slow bro. You have better Pokemon with which to use that on. Pokemon that aren't slow bro. Nothing's wrong with slow bro. He's actually quite good, but. I'm gonna talk shit anyway, because I'm the challenger, and that's what I'm supposed to do. And if he didn't use Amnesia first turn, we could have avoided this situation. But we didn't. I think I can probably get away with Thunder Punch. Yeah, okay, cool. I can. Awesome.
Executor. Ah, yes, Executor. Before you became freakishly tall in Sun and Moon, you were short and stubby. This is Executor. Before he got elongated and became a dragon type, he was here, a psychic grass type. Another Pokemon, another grass type Pokemon that has a sub has a subtype, and is not a pure grass Pokemon. Hopefully this will end things. It did. Good job, Typhlosion. As I said, Will is the weakest. He's pathetic. And Zato again. Uh, I'll just use Ampharos again. I don't get why Will has uh, why Will has two Zato. If anything, I would imagine two Slowbro. Or maybe an Alakazam or a Kadabra or something. And we Psychics don't give up. That's what makes them formidable. Alright. Zatu's faster than me. That's moderately annoying. Hopefully this paralyzes. It won't. Didn't have to. Okay, even better. <laughs> even better. <laughs> Perfect. Yay. I can't believe it! Who are you, Andrew from Star Fox 64? That's an obscure joke. Hmm. Alright then. Let's heal up first. Uh, only Ampharos really needs healing, so we should, uh, we should definitely do that. We have downtime between these fights to do this exact thing. I don't think we're gonna need Ampharos to be at full health for this, um, for this next fight. I don't think this is an Ampharos fight. It is not an Ampharos fight. This is one of the new Elite Four members, and we'll cover who he is in just a second after we put Typhlosion to the front of the party, because of reasons. This is a new member of the Elite Four. The first, uh, genera the first generation Elite Four was... I'll see if I can remember them. There were Lorelei, Bruno, Agatha, Lance, and then, uh, Champion. Uh, this time, Koga, of all people got promoted to the Elite Four. See? He's Koga. He's a ninja. He's also part of the Elite Four now, for no discernible reason. And he'll, and he'll confound and destroy us. Of his sinister techniques. Flaha. You're right. They're not. Koga uses poison and bug Pokemon. A confusing set of types to be in the Elite Four, but unfortunately, fire destroys most of his party, so Typhlosion's gonna get a nice good workout this this fight. And if I feel ballsy, I'll send Espeon out to use Psychic on things. Technically, this actually should this this actually should uh, actually should be Espeon's fight, by all intent and purposes, by all intended purposes, as I've learned is the actual way to say that phrase. But with Typhlosion just destroying everything, it's kind of hard to say no to Typhlosion, especially Fortress, who is a bug steel Pokemon and has 4x weakness to Flamethrower. You had no chance. You're a tank, but you have no chance. Not against the almighty power of Typhlosion. Muck. Yes, we're gonna change for Muck. Muck we have no counter for, so Espeon, go ahead. No, not with Typhlosion. We have no counter, we have no counter with Typhlosion. There we go. That's the correct way to say what I wanted to say. Hello, Muck. Thankfully, Psybeam is still very strong against, against poison Pokemon. I'm not quite sure why, but it is. Oh no, not Gunk Shot. How dare you do that move that's hit me ridiculously hard. That's entirely okay. 
because I have another side beam. Goodbye, Muck. That was a fun talk you and I had. It's also the end of our talk. So. Go, Espeon. Right back in the Pokeball, because we're going to use Ampharos now. Because Bing Bong, Bing Bong. Now, Crobat will be faster than us, which is very unfortunate. Oh, and it's going to do that. Even less fortunate. That's fine. All we need is, like, one solid discharge anyway. Solid discharge? Not not quite. Two two solid discharges. Oh, okay. I thought you were gonna I did, thought thought Koga was gonna heal you. Oh no, we've been badly poisoned. Poison Fang is a great move. Now Ampharos is basically shot for the rest of this fight, but that's fine, because we don't need Ampharos for the rest of the fight. Now that Crobat's down, we don't actually need you anymore, and for us, you can take a rest. As soon as you finish being poisoned. Venomoth! Oh no, not Venomoth, whatever we Typhlosion. Typhlosion is the answer to most of Koga's Pokémon. And Venomoth is uh, Koga's signature Pokémon. That's why he's using it last. Yep. And flamethrower. Well, that was enjoyable. How about how about that, Koga? Your bug poison Pokemon. I think I think Venomoth is bug poison, isn't it? I don't think it's a flying type. I don't think. Hmm. In any case, you're done anyway, so it doesn't really matter. Go Typhlosion level 44. And we got $10,000 from beating Koga. Yay! Alright. But first, we must heal. We are, we are very badly wounded from Koga. Much as I made fun of him, Koga is actually quite good at beating your party up. We just had... We just had two Pokémon who could counter his entire party. But he still is no slouch. Now we need to fix up Ampharos. And there we go. We're back at full health. Very handy. And I should use these things. I wonder, can I use this on you, Ampharos? Oh, I can. Oh, oh wow. Um, let's see. The defense stat. And Nido King, why not? PP up, we're gonna wait. I very rarely use PP ups. Raises the base attack stat of a Pokemon. Who use? Oh, you use attack actually. I had to think for a second. Actually, Dragon uh, yeah, uses attack power. Most of his attacks are are physical are physical attacks. And that's all my upgrade items except for the HP up. Ah, I can use HP. Oh, I should, use, I, should, I should use that later, actually. I should not use those now. I should use those later. Goodbye, Koga. Hmm. The fire room. Wonder what this guy is going to be. This guy is going to actually be fighting. But he's going to start with a with a rock Pokemon. So we're going to start with Politoed. Now, this is Bruno. Bruno has been... In, uh, Bruno is always a member of the Elite Four, because Bruno is... That's just about all Bruno's good at. So we're gonna... So me and Polytoid are gonna stare him down, and we will come back next time for the other half of the Elite Four. We've done very well so far. I'm... I'm... I'm content with how we're doing, and I haven't used Dragonite yet. I don't plan on using Dragonite. Not till the very end, at the very least. But hope you guys had fun, and I will see you next time with more, with more, with more Let's Play Pokemon Heart Gold. Once I slow down and can speak in a regular human volume, human speech pattern again. So, till then, till then. Okay? Out.